Hopper has given his time to his wife, Sherry Hopper. Mother. Okay. You have four minutes. Thank you. My name is Sherry Hopper. I'm a live at 6898 Alderwood Drive South, Millington. I'm actually here as an MLG and W right payer tonight. Um, normally I'm here speaking for the uh, employees, but uh, Ms. Triplett has handled that very well, and I thank her for that. I'm, I'm having a problem with the website. It won't let me aud uh, upload my audit stuff anyway. But my concern tonight is that when I was searching through some of the um, MLG and W stuff, actually, let me back up a little bit. Uh, Miss Amanda Swain, y'all may know her now. She's the photographer that has been uh, taking pictures of the mask firemen. She uh, got some publicity a couple weeks ago, and this picture was posted on her personal website, um, and it's about the Social Security Administration. Y'all remember this last summer, the uh, supposedly the video that came out of the illegal um, workers that were here at the Social Security Administration in Raleigh. Uh, it circulated a, a producer from Fox News, or supposedly from Fox News, came out and circulated it on YouTube, and it is still on YouTube. Um, and he was, he had a story, but he had the wrong story. Uh, what he was saying was they were illegal workers here and the United States government was giving them uh, passports and visas, and that's not what actually was happening. This appeared on Miss Swain's Facebook page, and it was uh, happened to be the security guard on duty that day. And it said that, um, that she was spreading lies because it wasn't that they were illegal workers, but they were workers from Memphis Light, Gas, and Water that had been bused here from Mexico. So that intrigued us a little bit, so we dug a little bit further. By the way, Ms. Swain does not work for any union. I should point that out. She does not work for any union. She does, she's done this on her own. Uh, that was said not too long ago. But anyway, um, we found out that they worked for ABC Professional Tree Services, and you should know that name because you uh, approved a contract in January for what will total $37 million. And I did find copies of these visas that were issued to ABC Professional Tree Company, that was a real story. They were really there getting visas for Memphis Light, Gas, and Water. And as a rate payer, I'm very upset by that. Because not only did you enter into a contract with a company that is going to Mexico and picking up employees, they're doing it legally, well, somewhat. There is a report here from um, uh, the Department of Homeland Security where they, this very company was fined $2 million for hiring undocumented workers to come into utility companies into major cities. And we went into, into, entered into a contract with them. And then they also were cited by OSHA for not training these workers to work on utility lines and they were getting injured. So we entered into a $37 million contract with them. We have 45,000 unemployed workers in the Memphis metro area. Why are we going to Mexico, not another state? I've sat in here and listened when uh, Councilman Harris was here where we were upset at MLGNW for going outside the state. We're going outside the country. And this company, ABC Professionals, not even a Memphis-based company. This is a Houston-based company. P please summarize. Your time's almost up. Well, I think this is a pretty telling, especially for people that want to run for mayor, and we're hiring people from outside this country to fill jobs that we have 45,000 people that are able to fill them, and companies that I'm sure will step up and cut our trees. So, I mean, I had 42 seconds. Come on, guys. 45,000 unemployed workers? And we're going to Mexico? I have it all right here. I've got pictures of the visas. Have you gone to the Light, Gas, and Water Board? You approved, this council approved that contract. I understand. I but came to you but first. Even, but before it came to us, it was approved by the Light, Gas, and Water Board. Okay, well, uh, I just came to the first place where I knew where well, I would be heard. And I'll, the, I'll tell you where you can go for Light, Gas, and Water. But thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. I love being dismissed. Thank you. Oh, only because of time. <laughs> Jennifer Ballard. Jennifer Ballard. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Who wants to speak? No, Wait a minute. Uh, Ms. Howard does want to speak. Go ahead. Mr. Chair, I understand um, sending that information to Memphis like gas and water, but once the council in its official capacity hears something like that, we have a responsibility to make an inquiry. So I think, Mr. Chair, we need to make an inquiry of our uh, board and president from Memphis Light, Gas, and Water about this accusation. 
All right. Um, I'm going to defer to our, the member of this council who said of that committee, and that's Mr. Boyd, unless anyone wants to take it upon themselves to do that. Would you like to do it, Ms. Albert? Or you oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, I just, we're sworn, we both can do it, but we're sworn under an oath of office, and if someone brings to our attention anything that's potentially illegal or challenging like such as this, then we have oh, a I, I agree with you. I think everyone does agree. Mr. Boyd? Okay. Thank you, we'll sir. Um, based on that information, I do agree with my colleague, Councilwoman Halbert. I will suggest that this will be in committee um, next council meeting, so we will hear this item, and I will request that the young lady provide me with a copy of her documents so that we can have it for our records, and I'll make copies for all of the members of the council as well. So we will hear this in committee um, next council meeting. Thank, Thank you. you. Ms. Thank Hopper, you. I don't think you heard that. I did. Yeah. Ms. Hopper. Okay. We will hear this in committee in two weeks. But you need to share the information with Mr. Berlin Boyd before that so we can check with light, gas, and water. Thank, Thank you so you. very much. Jennifer Ballard.